everyone uh, welcome back so today we'll be talking about secure network traffic uh, which is the third lab and in this we are going to create a virtual machine and uh, add some network security group and we're gonna add some rules which allow us to against the inbound and outbound rules so let's go ahead and start uh, creating the virtual machine let's go ahead and uh, create a virtual machine so in this case let me take it as uh, my VM one okay let me add my VM let the region be uh, East US Let's jump to. Let me add the password. Okay. So I'm removing all the rules while creating a virtual machine. And even in the networking, I'm removing the group management boot diagnosis and uh, let's go ahead and create so we have uh, removed all the security groups uh, while creating the VM so instead of that we will be creating the uh, NSG and we'll be adding the roots in that let's go ahead and create so meanwhile uh, let's go ahead and uh, Add a network security group which will be in the networking let's go ahead and create a new security group so let me take it as my vm and uh, my vm nsg let's go ahead and create so initially the rdp will be denied so we have to create the rules for that so we have to add the inbound rule so it's done create let's go to the resources and uh, we have to add the inbound and outbound rules before that we have to associate the network interface so once it's done uh, let's go ahead and add the inbound rule it's done so let's add one inbound rule so in this case the port will be the RDP one which is uh, 3389 TCP and we gonna allow that so I think everything is fine allow RDP let's go ahead and uh, allow it now let's go ahead and uh, access the virtual machine connect download So connect so I have to use my username and password uh, so there has been an error
So I think going to MSG. We are uh, allowing the RTP. Why exactly it's not working? Let's go ahead and try once again. So let's add my username and password, which is uh, Azure user and uh, the password. Okay. So you can see now I'm able to connect it. I think it, it took some time to uh, refresh that settings. Hmm. Hmm. Now here uh, we'll be trying some few websites. Uh, in this case, we'll be taking the Microsoft and let's try to access it. So initially, uh, we should access the website. Next, we'll try to add some outbound rules and try to deny the internet. Let's go ahead and try that. So let me access the website. Now you can see uh, I was able to access the website, uh, but let's uh, go ahead and add some outbound rules and deny that. So in this case, let's go to the outbound rules and let's add the rule. So now let's try internet and uh, Coming to the codes. And in this case, we are uh, deny, uh, denying the internet. So the priority is 110. So it is the highest priority. So let's give it as allow internet. Sorry, deny internet. <laughs> okay, add it. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, so the rule has been created, let's go ahead and uh, try to refresh and see whether we are uh, able to access the internet or not. Well, I was able to access. Let's, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and check.
updated it let's go ahead and check now <laughs> so this is a good indication that we are not able to access the internet and uh, the rule has been successfully implemented there you go so now you can see uh, we are not able to access the internet and uh, the website is down because we uh, we have created a rule in which uh, we are denying the internet so this is how uh, you can uh, create uh, various uh, rules in NSG so hope you guys have understood the uh, the concept of NSG and creating the rules if you have liked the video please hit like button below and uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and thank you guys